Hi everyone, I'm Di Yang and uh, uh, I'm actually from Penn State University. Many people mistaken it as uh, as uh, uh, UPenn. Um, I wish it was UPenn. <laughs> but again, uh, the presentation today is uh, about social health, social health insurance consolidation uh, in China and its impact on uh, urban rural ine uh, inequality in uh, medical utilization and financial risk protection in China. So, uh, first of all, uh, let me. Uh, give you some background information about the uh, social health insurance programs in China. So there are three, um, three major uh, pro uh, social health insurance programs um, and the uh, uh, Chinese government basically divided uh, the, the population into three subgroups. So the, uh, the NCMS, the New Cooperative Medical in uh, Scheme, is for rural residents and uh, uh, UEBMI, the uh, Urban Employee Basic uh, Medical Insurance covers the urban employed population. And the last, uh, URBMI, the, the, uh, uh, urban resident me me <laughs> the Urban Resident Basic Medical Insurance, uh, they cover the uh, ur urban residents. Um, the, the problem in this system is that uh, it is uh, creating inequality by policy design because these three programs, they have uh, different levels of uh, uh, medical, uh, medical benefits. For example, someone uh, caught a flu and, and go to see a doctor, maybe, uh, for example, the, the, the medical um, cost is like 100 yuan. Then uh, for the uh, UEBMI, the, uh, what's uh, the, the laser? Which one is laser? Uh, ah, okay. Thank the you. Red one. Okay, red one. Okay. So, for UEBMI, the, for the uh, urban employed population, this is the one with best uh, benefits. So, for example, if the uh, doctor visit costs 100 yuan, probably, uh, just give an example, the urban employee uh, insurance they will probably uh, reimburse like 60 yuan. But for urban resident, probably only like 50 yuan. And for Rural, re, uh, rural resident, uh, they're probably only like 40 yuan. So um, this, this system is creating inequality by policy, by design. And that is obviously not bad, uh, obviously bad, <laughs> because, um, um, because uh, well, China is a socialist country, so we're pursuing um, universal healthcare. Uh, for, for, this, for the healthcare system to be a universal healthcare, then everyone should have the uh, like same uh, um, how do you say um, same medical uh, benefits, no matter where you live, where you're in a rural area or you're in an urban area. So, uh, but this system is creating um, inequality by design. So in <laughs> so in 2016, um, there is a consolidation for the for the two. Pr for the two programs, so for the urban resident insurance and for the uh, rural resident insurance, it was consolidated into a new program in 2016. So the, the new program takes the better benefits for the two old programs, so nobody is uh, worse off um, in this consolidation. As for the, uh, for the urban, um, uh, urban employees, their insurance program is not impacted, so um, they're not better off or worse off. They're, they're just not relevant. And uh, uh, this is a pretty good situation for the study because I can use uh, urban employees as the uh, control group, as I show you in the next uh, few slides. Oh, okay, so for the policy goal of the consolidation, it was to uh, gradually to reduce the urban rural inequality in, in healthcare, uh, particularly among urban and uh, rural residents. And obviously the natural research question is, did this consolidation really reduce the, uh, the urban rural inequality, um, particularly urban rural gaps in total medical expenditure and uh, reimbursement? Well, I choose total medical expenditure because it measures the medical utilization and the reimbursement uh, utilize uh, Reimbursement uh, measures the uh, financial protection of the uh, social health insurance program. 
and the data I use is China Family Panel Study. It's a uh, uh, it's conducted every two years, and it's pretty uh, pretty large, like twenty or thirty thousand uh, um, uh, individuals uh, sampled every time. Um, and it's a panel study, so the same household is tracked every two years, and it asks like a lot of questions across healthcare, demographics, uh, your occupation. Like they're asking everything. Uh, the the question is like 50 pages, so super long. Um, and uh, we're using 2012 and 2000, 2014 and 2018 data sets. We're not using 2016 because the consolidation is in 2016. So we can't say it's you know pre-consolidation or post-consolidation. So we just decide not to use 2016 as uh, at all. So the method we use is a kind of a two difference in differences, just uh, stack them together. It's an augmented uh, method. So we're, we're, uh, we're trying to get the difference into a different diff estimator. So this is the illustration of the, of the method. So you see on the top, top green line, this is a control group, this is the uh, urban employee population, so they're not impacted by the consolidation, so they're the control group, and uh, there are two treatment groups here, these two groups are consolidated, so the first, the first tr uh, treatment group is the uh, um, urban resident population, so this will be the first DID, so this will be uh, Delta 1, the first DID captured by Beta 4 in the in the uh, uh, equation. Uh, if you look at the equation, it's, it's pretty simple. It's just two DIDs uh, put into the same equation. And the second the DID is, uh, the, uh, is, uh, is between the uh, urban employees and uh, uh, rural residents. So this is the second DID captured by beta 5 here. So the, the gap, the changing gap between uh, urban residents and the rural residents will be just delta 1 minus delta 2, which is beta 4 minus beta 5. And uh, Stata actually has a very uh, simple, simple code that uh, after you estimate this, um, this equation, whether it's uh, OLS or, or, or other uh, regression, you just do a post-estimation uh, test be, uh, to uh, just test uh, beta 4 minus beta 5, and the state will tell you if, uh, if it's significant, significantly different from zero, and you, you will see uh, if the gap is increased or not. And the result, uh, spoiler alert, uh, the result is not very good. <laughs> um, the consolidation actually did not reduce uh, urban-rural gap in medical expenditure reimbursement or out-of-pocket, at least not uh, in a uh, statistically significant way. So I'll show you the table here. Um, well, uh, we have uh, three, uh, three outcomes. So uh, total medical expenditure, uh, reimbursement, and out-of-pocket. So for the total medical expenditure, I use a two-part model because total medical expenditure they have a lot of uh, they have a cluster clusters of zero because like uh, you know a lot of people are healthy and they don't really go to hospital at all so they are not using any um, uh, medical service so their medical expenditure is zero in the uh, in the previous year uh, so that's why we're using two-part model and uh, you can see its uh, uh, p-value is only. Uh, 0 0.08, uh, yeah, 0 0.08, which is not sim significant. Um, I think what's even more disturbing is that actually the the magnitude is uh, positive, is 399, which is positive. That means the gap is uh, like increasing, but also, uh, but mo more importantly, it's not significant at all. Um, the reimbursement also have uh, uh, some clustering at zero because. Uh, for example, if you utilize, uh, if you um, use some medical service that is not covered by the insurance, then you're not receiving any reimbursement. So there are also some clustering at zero. So I also use two-part model. Um, and you can also see it's not significant here. Um, as for the out-of-pocket, um, so for out of pocket, there's no clustering at zero because there's no free healthcare. You you have to pay more or less. So uh, I just use OLS here. 
and uh, you can also see it's not, not significant here. Um, so none of this is significant. So <laughs> um, the gap actually did not reduce uh, in a statistically significant way. Um, because I use uh, because I use different diff, so obviously I need to test the parallel trend. Um, so basically, we, we run the same regression using 2012 and 2014 data. And uh, because of the data limitation, um, uh, some, th some outcome variables, namely reimbursement and uh, out-of-pocket, uh, they're not available in the 2012 data. So we were only able to test the uh, parallel trend for the total medical expenditure, which is, again, a major limitation, which I will mention later. And uh, uh, but for the... Um, uh, total micro expenditure, the, the uh, parallel trend is not violated. Uh, at, at least, well, the test does not, the parallel trend test uh, did not uh, yield evidence that the parallel trend is uh, violated. Well, uh, I guess a very uh, natural question is why? Because the policy seemed to you know, consolidate two different programs, so people would expect at least reduce more or less a little bit of inequality. So why the the in, uh, urban rural inequality did not uh, reduce in a statistically significant way? So I have some hypothesis. The first hypothesis is uh, uh, the ur the health utilization patterns change differentially uh, for urban and rural residents as a as a result of the consolidation. For example, uh, maybe uh, urban residents they uh, because of consolidation, they have a, a, a bigger increase in likelihood of doctor visits when they feel sick, or uh, because of consolidation, urban residents are uh, much more likely to visit high-cost medical facilities like specialty uh, medical facilities. Um, and this is pr uh, particularly relevant in China because um, you know the expensive. Uh, uh, hospitals are always in the metropolitan area, and uh, in urban area, the the, the uh, medical facilities are usually uh, limited or underdeveloped, and they're uh, obviously low cost in uh, in rural area. So I tested that uh, these two uh, these two possible uh, explanations. So uh, first column is. Uh, it's a uh, so so the um, dependent variable is a, a binary. So do, do, you see, uh, do you go to see a doctor when you feel discomfort? And I use the same specification of the, the, the re regression equation. And you can see it's not significant. So, well, um, you, can, you can see, uh, I think I can uh, explain all, uh, all of the coefficients here. Okay, so for the beta one, uh, urban resident uh, insurance Oh, not, okay, not significant, not significant here. I'll just go here, start from here. So uh, post for beta three, um, it's significant and it's positive. So uh, compared to before the consolidation, uh, after the consolidation, people are 77 percentage points more likely to visit a doctor when they feel discomfort. So um, cons uh, the consolidation actually increased people's uh, likelihood to visit doctor. So that's a good thing. but. Unfortunately, the inequality doesn't really uh, reduce. Um, this is the uh, wh whether you usually visit a high cost facility. So there's a question like uh, what type of uh, medical facility do you usually uh, visit when you feel uh, sick? And I classify them into uh, whether it's high cost or not. And you can see the urban rural gap in that regard is also not reduced. But um, for this one, uh, for beta one, this is a, a urban resident in, a urban resident population. So the reference is the urban employees, right? So the the gap between urban residents and the urban employees actually reduce um, in a statistically significant way, uh, thirty a uh, thirteen uh, percentage point, which is quite a big uh, reduction. But uh, for the gap between urban residents and rural residents, uh, it's, not, it's not statistically significant. So uh, this hypothesis is uh, not uh, the case here. So I have the second hypothesis. 
uh, it's the uh, provincial heter heterogeneous effect. So it's, it's possible that uh, in some provinces, um, the, the urban rural gap is reduced, and in other provinces, uh, ur urban rural gap is like, like widened, and in, on a national average, the gap probably doesn't uh, change or doesn't reduce in a statistically significant way. So I uh, group the provinces into th uh, four groups here by their uh, physical spending on healthcare. So in the highest uh, physical spending on health, uh, for, the, for the highest uh, healthcare physical spending provinces, you can see there, uh, the, uh, the urban rural gap actually increased. So the rich provinces is, uh, is, uh, is making trouble here. <laughs> Um, so um, the, the second hypothesis is uh, uh, what we uh, think is, is the root cause for not, uh, for not seeing a statistically significant reduction in urban, urban uh, rural gap. So the conclusion is uh, the 2016, uh, 2016 consolidation did not reduce the urban rural gap uh, in the total medical expenditure and the reimbursement, at least not in the short term. Um, but we do not know if the gap will uh, continue to get wider or it will reduce uh, over time because we only have uh, uh, the data till 2018. The 2020 data is uh, going to be released soon, so I guess I can revisit that. Um, I, I, the policy recommendation here, um, I think it's more on the, uh, on the supply side because uh, uh, the urban, uh, the, the, there are like many um, uh, high cost and good uh, medical facilities in urban area, but in rural areas, really under under invested. Um, also, in in urban area, there should be more um, gatekeeping so that uh, people just uh, like so that people don't can't just go to the high cost facilities no matter what kind of like small units they have like for the flu for like flu you really don't need to go to like a specialty hospital at all yeah uh, the limitation here so first of all it's the parallel trend assumption we can only be tested we can only test it on uh, total medical expenditure but not for uh, the uh, reimbursement and out of pocket and uh, well um there, there could be other policies between 2014 and 2018, so um, that could be other uh, potential um, uh, policy changes that we were not able to, how to say, to to uh, to tease out. Um, but uh, but still, we can say that uh, for between 2014 and 2018, the the urban rural gap did not reduce, and also. We, we can say that uh, because we use, uh, we control for uh, county fixed effect, so we really just te uh, see uh, see the difference between the same county. Um, so we don't, uh, and also we don't have reasons to believe these uh, these uh, policies would impact uh, urban and rural residents in a different way. So. The last slide, I'm on the job market. So <laughs> if, if, uh, if you know any potential job opportunities, uh, please email me. I have uh, my website, also my QR code. You can scan it to see my CV and, and uh, my paper. And uh, I don't really care about geo uh, like geo geographic or locations. So for example, if Uniandes wanna, wanna, wanna recruit me, I'm very glad <laughs> if, if that's an if that's a, a opportunity there. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>